chicas welcome back to my channel and for today's video i have a mall haul for you it's a throwback video i love going to malls and just shopping around because you have tons of stores and all in one place and i'm not gonna lie i spent a pretty good amount of money this shopping trip normally i keep it under 50 bucks and i want to say i spent about 150 the reason is though because there was so many good deals i absolutely couldn't pass up. Before we get into the clothes and shoes that I bought, I do want to show you some accessories that I just received recently from Ana Luisa. I'm sure you've heard of Ana Luisa. If you haven't, are you living under a rock? Because Ana Luisa jewelry is super affordable, high quality, hypoallergenic. It doesn't tarnish and it's water resistant jewelry. You guys have to check out their website if you're looking for simple, feminine, low maintenance jewelry. And if you've been following my channel for a while, I'm sure you've heard me talk about them before because I have worked with them in the past. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sending over the jewelry pieces I'm about to show you. Uh, so I have some stuff I'm adding to my collection. First, I want to show you these cute little huggy earrings. I'm going to have all the proper names of the jewelry, obviously down below in the description box. I'll have the links so you can easily shop this video because I can't remember the names at the moment. But these are some really adorable little silver huggy hoops. And I do have gauged ears, as you guys know. So these work perfectly for me. I do have to pick out specific earrings to work with my large lobes. And these actually work so nicely. And what I love about Ana Luisa is if you find yourself like an everyday necklace, an everyday ring, or some everyday earrings, and if you accidentally forgot to take them off in the shower or you wash your hands a lot with the rings on, you're going to be fine because this jewelry does not tarnish. I have had jewelry from Ana Luisa for... Uh, over a year. I don't even know how long. It might be a year and a half. I've had this gold pair of earrings. They're, these are them right here. I've had them for over a year and a half and they still remain so shiny and so beautiful. I have not cleaned these once and I wear them all the time. Just wanted to show you an example that I've had those for so long, never cleaned them and they are still shiny. So I had to get some little silver everyday earrings. You know, I thought these little huggy ones were super cute and simplistic. And as you guys know, if you do follow my channel, I am about to get my real estate license. So I have been really working on my wardrobe essentials, which is why I did a lot of shopping and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to add to my wardrobe. I guess I'm trying to create sort of like a capsule wardrobe for business casual like for work and I think these are perfect for work and perfect for every day like even not just work just literally every day because they're simple they're feminine they're dainty they're not like dingle dangling everywhere getting in the way they're just little huggy ones they look so cute and then I also got this really cute freshwater pearl choker I love this it is so cute you guys i i wanted to try something different i saw that they had some stuff with pearls on the website and i was like i'm gonna give it a try i haven't worn pearls in like forever and i just had to give it a try these are so small again feminine dainty so beautiful it's not too much on an everyday basis but it also elevates your outfit and I got a couple other pieces to show you as well. So I did get these same huggy earrings in the gold color because I felt like these were just going to be um, a new favorite of mine. I can just tell by the way that they look and the way that they feel on my ears that they are just going to be a new everyday staple for me. There we go. There's focusing. They are so shiny, you guys. Whether I'm wearing silver that day or I said I decide to wear gold that day, I will have the same earring to match. So I like to do that when I really like a product. I like to get it in a couple different colors. The last little piece of jewelry I got is a ring. And you guys, this is actually gold. It is recycled gold. Another thing I love about Ana Luisa is that they do use recycled products and they do care about the environment. So you guys know I am all about trying to be as green as I possibly can realistically. Um, so I got this really cute little gold regular ring. It's like this skinny, skinny little band, 
but it is real gold. And my wedding ring, you guys know I have a tattoo and I typically don't wear it. I will wear stand-in rings here and there when I'm going out and I wanna feel cute. But I thought, why don't I just get like an everyday ring that I can wash my hands with, wear to work, wear when I'm going out and like sleep with if I wanted to. And this is the perfect thing to do that with because it's not bulky, it's very thin. It's very minimal if you are a minimalist and it is so comfortable. Like it is so comfortable. I don't even know that it's there. Like I literally can't even feel that it's there. And that's the thing with, with me is like, I do love rings. I think they're so pretty, but my fingers like swell up and they get irritated and then I get annoyed of it. And I wanna take all the rings off if they're chunky, even though I think they're so pretty. So something like this is definitely an everyday staple. It is understated, gorgeous and dainty. And I'm absolutely in love with it and i will have any links for you down below in the description if you're interested in any of those pieces the store that i went to was american eagle and i actually was like you know what i'm gonna look at some jeans now a little while ago last year i did go to the mall in search of skinny jeans i was unsuccessful that time this time around, I was successful. I'm so excited. So I did get a couple of other jeans. They're like mom jeans and flare jeans. But listen, I'm a millennial and I need a good pair of skinny jeans. Sometimes there are just those outfits that just look better with skinny jeans. So I wanted a nice, clean black pair of skinny jeans that had no rips in them that could be work appropriate, but also comfortable to wear. Anyways, American Eagle high rise jeggings, dream stretch. And I got them in the, in the short size in a 14. And I had an epiphany recently of me struggling with how long jeans were and they were bunching up at the bottom of my ankles and I cannot stand that. I really like when my skinny jeans are super tight and super close to the ankle. I can't stand any like extra fabric bunching up. And that's what all of my skinny jeans were doing in the past. So I don't know what, what I was thinking, not getting short length, but I'm five foot three. So obviously I am short. I got these plain black ones. They are so perfect, you guys, not to mention they were on sale for $29.99. And this day when I went shopping, all of the jeans were buy one, get one 50% off. So I had to go ahead and get another pair. So this is the black one. And I do plan on styling these outfits up for you guys and adding them into the video so you could see how I would wear them. Here is the second pair of jeans that I got. I was trying to only get jeans that weren't all ripped and destroyed because I wanted to be able to wear them to work. I was not able to find any more jeans that I liked in my size in a short length um, that were plain and not distressed, unfortunately. But at least I got the black pair. But I do have a plan for these guys right here. So these are definitely distressed, but they are so cute and they are so comfortable. These ones are a lot like stretchier and more comfy than the black ones. The black ones are very snatched, which I do love in a skinny jean. And that's what I was missing in my wardrobe is that plain skinny jean that has you snatched. Um, these ones have your legs snatched, but they feel like sweatpants around the waistband. I did size up to a 16 in these one, partially because it's more comfortable. But the other reason was because they did not have a 14 in this pant at the time so i just went ahead and tried on the 16 and i actually like the way that it fit so these are the american eagle jeggings next level stretch so that's why they're stretchier these are actually a low rise which i would never wear a low rise but you'll see it's not as low as you think it is it's more of like a mid-rise, which I like a mid-rise. I'm cool with a mid-rise. So I did get it in the 16 short. These are so comfortable. And I figured if it's gonna be low rise, I don't want it to be too tight because then I'm gonna have muffin top. So I guess if you wanna do a low rise jean and you have a belly like I do, maybe just go up a size because they worked out for me. What I love about it is that they're very tight to the ankle and they have this cropped raw hem, which I think would look really cute with sandals and heels. So I think I can make this work into a business casual summery outfit. And I'm gonna show you guys how I style it, but here's what the jeans look like. I really love a light denim 
and I definitely needed some more light denim in my wardrobe. These were actually on sale for, I want to say $25.00. So I paid the 30 for the black ones and then I got half off of this one because it was buy one, get one half off. So all in all, I paid $45 for two pairs of American Eagle jeans, which is absolutely insane because the last time I purchased jeans from them a couple years ago, I paid $70 for one pair. Now here's where I started to get a little crazy, okay? This top was pricey. This top was not on sale whatsoever and i was a little bit sad about it but i actually did have a 10 percent off coupon to american eagle this day because previously i want to say a month or two ago i did order some underwears from airy and they went ahead i ordered online they went ahead and sent me a 10 percent off coupon so i did get 10 percent off of it but this one was pricey because it is a spring uh, it's part of the spring collection and it was new so it was 49.95 kind of cringing at what I spend, but you know what I've realized the older I get? Sometimes you have to spend a little bit more for the quality instead of just only getting cheap stuff, which don't get me wrong, I love finding the quality when it's on clearance. Sometimes it's not on clearance. <laughs> so I got this really, really cute, big oversized like white beachy type of top. I love this style because it is so easy to dress. Like when I saw this, I was like, that is the easiest outfit to put together. I feel like this with the ripped jeans and some really nice heels and a nice purse, nice jewelry, your hair and your makeup done, even though it's ripped jeans, I just feel like it could definitely come off as business casual for the summer. For the summer okay maybe not any other parts of the year but i feel like sometimes in summer things can be a little bit more forgiving because it is very warm out so i got this in a size medium because i was swimming in the large um american eagle sizing is very forgiving and the fact that this is an oversized top like look at how look at how wide it is like it's a big shirt so i ended up getting a medium just because i am shorter um, and when I wear things that are too oversized, it actually makes me look a lot bigger than I am. So I have to do a little bit oversized. It has to be like a perfect medium. Uh, the medium fits great on me. It wasn't too tight on my arms or anything like that. I love the buttons. They have like a little, I don't even know, like a white pearly type of uh, neutral color to them. There is one pocket on the left side and then the sleeves do roll up and clip. This was so, so pretty. They had it in a few other colors and I just couldn't resist it because I feel like a white button up top is a wardrobe staple. The next store I went to was Express and the reason I walked up in there is because they had 50% off of their clearance items. So you know I can't miss out on a good deal. Now I love Express, I really do love Express and I check their website very frequently, um, but they are a little bit pricier, but you get what you pay for. The quality of Express is really, really amazing. I will say that, um, but sometimes I just don't have it in the budget. So I went and I looked at the clearance. This was the one thing I bought and it actually ended up being $9.98 because it was on clearance and then you take off 50%. So I got it for $9.98. Um, I don't know what the original price tag was because it didn't say here, but I'm going to assume around $40 because like I said, I look at their website constantly. This is the body contour thong bath bodysuit. And I've been wanting to try the contour bodysuits because they're supposed to be smoothing and they just look like they're going to be really comfortable. So I only found this color. It's kind of like a fall color, but I think I could definitely make it work for the spring and summertime as well. I liked how it had a higher neck. I actually didn't try this on. So you guys will see before I do how it fits me. But I was trying to see if it could cover my chest tattoos. I could put a blazer over this, add some jeans and some heels and call it a day. So I also liked that it was a thong so I don't have to worry about any panty lines and there is two snaps at the bottom here. And it does have like this thick material and it's like very spandexy and stretchy. So let me know if you guys have tried any of their body contouring um, 
body suits. I'm not really a bodysuit girl, but I really wanted to try it and I felt like for the price, um, it was definitely worth it. This is the last clothing item I have to show you and then I'm gonna show you some shoes. So I've been missing from my wardrobe. I have like this little checklist in my mind of all the things I want for like my wardrobe. And one thing I was missing was like a satin dress shirt. I think they look so nice. And what I love about them is the versatility. I think you can throw them with a pair of jeans and heels, but I also think you can tuck them into some slacks and put a blazer, you can keep the blazer off. There's so many ways you can dress up this shirt. You can make it more casual or you can make it more formal. And I think it's a wardrobe staple. So I would love to have this shirt in several different colors. But for now, I went ahead and got this beautiful blush pink. I just thought for spring and for summertime, it would be a really nice little pop of color. I like that it's not like too crazy and bright. It's a little bit muted. And I personally think that this color pink complements my hair and my skin tone. So that's why I went with it. Um, I signed up for the H&M Rewards at the register. And then I actually got 10% off of this shirt but it is $24.99 for a really nice, like satiny, silky shirt. I feel like that's, you know, pretty affordable, pretty baseline, but this is gorgeous, you guys. I actually didn't even try this on in store either. Um, I try on jeans for sure, but with tops, I pretty much know what's gonna work for me. Anything that is a button up, I try to size up, except of course, if it is oversized. So I did get an extra large in this one because I do have a larger chest. So when it buttons up, I have to account for that. Here is how the sleeves look. I think this just has such a cute, like editorial look. I don't know, it's so pretty. I could see it with like faux leather leggings with like it uh, not tucked in and just like one little piece tucked in in the front. I could see it tucked into slacks. I could see it just completely out on some skinny jeans. Like I can see this worn in so many different ways and I just had to pick it up. It was so gorgeous. All right, so the last thing that I picked up was a pair of shoes. Um, these I could not resist. So my friend wanted to go into Charlotte Russe. I forgot Charlotte Russe was a store because when I was living in Texas, they were talking about closing down a bunch of stores. So I honestly didn't think it was a thing anymore, but I went in there and they had a lot of good stuff for really affordable prices. They did have button up shirts for like $12, but I will say they don't look as good as the H&M one. H&M is a really great place for like business casual wear because they have a modern twist on it and it's very clean and it looks more expensive than it is actually. Um, but if you need to be more affordable, they have tons of button up shirts uh, at Charlotte Russe. And then they have a tons of shoes. And I saw these red signs that said $10. I was like, oh my God, I was gonna cut myself off. Like I was gonna be like, no more spending, you're good. You got enough stuff. And I saw these for $10 and I couldn't resist it because these were so cute, you guys. This, I don't have a shoe that's specifically like this. I do have a little pair of block heels that are black. They have a crisscross strap on the front, but they're round toe. Round toe is not my favorite. I'm a pointy toe or a square toe type of gal. Um, a lot of people don't like pointy toes. I think they look really fierce and I love them, but I also love me a square toe for that trendy modern look. So these are like a faux leather and it has like this ruched detail on the band. I felt like these would be a very good staple for work shoes because when you have a thick strap like this and you have a square toe, it leaves more room for your toes, which makes it more comfortable. And the thick strap makes you feel more secure. So they're a lot easier to walk in than some thin strappy little heels or any pointy heels because anything pointy is definitely gonna be uncomfortable because it's forcing your toes to be way closer together than they are normally. So I picked these up for $10 in the size eight and a half. They did not have a nine, but to my surprise, the eight and a half actually fit really well. When it comes to a square toe and the fact that it's open toe, you can go to your lower size versus sizing up. Whereas with pointy heels, I definitely have to size up like a whole size or a half size at least um, because of the point. So I would say it's like maybe a four inch heel. 
so I think it's like it's like tall but it's not unmanageable these were actually very comfortable I tried them on in the store walked around a little bit uh, as best I could because they were connected but they were actually pretty comfortable so these are so cute you guys they have like a little bit of cushion here and I was just impressed I mean for like 10 bucks girl those girl i felt banging when i put these shoes on and i just painted my nails so i just like enforced it i was like i'm just gonna have to buy them that is it for my mall haul i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope i made you aware of some sales so you can go save some money too I will try to link some stuff down below for you guys from the mall as best I can, but because a lot of things were on sale, I may or may not be able to find the exact thing, but I will do my best to link them down below for you. And don't forget that all that Anna Luisa jewelry that I showed you guys will also be down there if you are interested in getting some really cute everyday low maintenance jewelry. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!